good morning to everyone so in this video we are going to solve the problem without the saddle point okay so using the mixed strategy only we are going to solve the problem so this is the procedure for 2 cross 2 matrix only okay so now i am considering the matrix uh, 2 cross 2 matrix a11 a12 a21 a22 so the optimum strategy will be s of a and s of b okay so optimum strategy will be for a player a that is denoted by s of a a1 a2 p1 p2 and s of b is b1 b2 and q1 q2 okay so the value of p1 the value of p1 will be so this is the formula for finding the value of p1 okay p1 equal to a22 minus this is the value of a22 so a22 minus a21 divided by divided by a11 plus a22 uh, we have to add the diagonal wise so a11 plus a22 minus and then add the the left diagonal so a 1 2 plus a 2 1 okay so this, this is the value of p 1 so we have the relation between p 1 and p 2 is p 1 plus p 2 equal to 1 okay so from that we can find the value of p 2 so p 2 is nothing but 1 minus p 1 okay so similarly the value of q 1 q 1 is a 2 2 minus a 1 2 a 2 2 minus a 1 2 divided by so the denominator will be same a11 plus a22 minus minus of a12 plus a21 okay so this is the value of q1 so from that we can find the value of q1 plus q2 sorry q2 value so q1 plus q2 equal to 1 so from that we can find the value of q2 and the value of the game will be v that is equal to a11 into a22 minus that is we have to add the diagonal we have to multiply the diagonal wise okay so a11 minus sorry a11 a22 minus a21 a12 divided by so the denominator will be same for that also a11 plus a22 minus of a12 plus a21 okay so this is the procedure to solve the problem so this is the optimum strategy and this is the value of p1 p2 so p1 p2 what a value is fine but the kind of formula and this one is the value of the game let's see the first problem so first problem is consider a modified form of a matching bias to coin game problem so we have to consider the coin toss in the problem so the coin will be biased the matching player is paid rupees this is not 800 this is 8 paying rupees 8 if the two coins turn the both head so random head on the double now 8 rupees when the gain panwara and the rupees one if the coin turn both tile so both tile and the, the player will be paid rupees one so the non-matching or an or non-matching player which one would you choose a so the non-matching the non-matching player is paid rupees 3 when the two coins do not match okay so this 3 is nothing but a penalty amount okay so i must do this line okay so same head on the 8 rupees pay panwaru same tail on the 1 rupee and non matching are the china he have to pay rupees 3 okay so for that we have to first we have to find the payoff matrix okay so now i am going to write the payoff matrix okay so if it is both head so he will be pay rupees 8 and if it is both tail he will be pay rupees 1 okay so for non matching he will be pay minus 3 so that is a penalty amount so that why it will be in the minus 3 in the form of minus okay so this is our payoff matrix
so the payoff matrix is 8 minus 3 minus 3 1 okay so for that we have to find the saddle point if it is saddle point is that does not exit so we have to use the mixed strategy okay so first uh, find the saddle point 8 minus 3 minus 3 1 okay so first we have to find the row minimum and then column maximum okay so for the first row the row minimum will be minus 3 for the second row the row minimum will be minus 3 okay so this is the point i'm going to put it in the star and the column maximum is the first column maximum is 8 and second column maximum is 1 so i am put it in the plus symbol okay so obviously we can see there is a no saddle point so saddle point saddle point it doesn't exist saddle point doesn't exist okay so if it is the problem doesn't has a saddle point we have to use the mixed strategy okay so strategy it is denoted by s of a okay so s of a and s of b so what is the s of a s of a is nothing but a head tail or we can denote it by a1 a2 okay head tail p1 p2 and head tail q1 q2 okay so this is our optimum strategy okay we have to find the value of p1 p2 and q1 q2 okay so first i am going to find the value of p1 okay so p1 p1 equal to so what is the formula a22 minus a12 okay so this is our a22 this is our a21 okay so we get 1 minus minus 3 divided by next a So next the denominator will be a11 plus a22. So this is our a11 and this is our a22. So by 8 plus 1. 8 plus 1 minus of. So next a12 plus a21. Eight plus one minus of so this is our a one two and this is our a two one. Okay, so for minus three minus three. So we get the value will be p one equal to four by nine minus six plus six. So we get four by fifteen. So this is our p one okay so next we have to find the value of p2 p2 is nothing but 1 minus p1 so that is 1 minus 4 by 15 okay so that is 11 by 15 okay so we are finding the value of p1 and p2 so next we have to find the value of q1 okay so q1 equal to a22 minus a12 so this is our a22 this is our a12 1 minus 1 minus minus 3 divided by the denominator will be same so we get 15 here yeah. so q1 equal to same 4 by 15 okay so next we have to find the value of q2 q2 equal to 1 minus q1 so that is 1 minus 4 by 15 so that is 11 by 15 okay so next we have to find the value of the game so value of the game equal to a11 a22 so we have to multiply the diagonal entries and then this one okay so 8 minus minus 3 into minus 3 so that is nothing but 9 9 by so the denominator will be same so that is 15 okay so the value of the game will be so the value of the game will be minus 1 by 15. So and then optimum strategy that is nothing but S of A equal to head tail. So P1 is P1 is 4 by 15. 4 by 15 and P2 
P2 is 11 by 15. Okay. And S of B equal to head tail. So head tail. So the Q1 value will be 4 by 15. And the Q2 value will be 11 by 15. Okay. So this is our final answer. The value of the game is minus 1 by 15. And optimum strategies are... SA and SB. Thank you.